have some bad news, Canada. The Avro Arrow, one of our proudest national symbols, coolest looking creations, and most vaunted aeronautic achievements was... okay. For starters, if it hadn't been cancelled, the CF-105 would have been hideously outdated when it entered service. The Arrow was an interceptor, a plane designed with one purpose, fly as fast as possible to the Arctic and shoot down Russian nuclear bombers. Pew, 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 pew. An interceptor doesn't really help if you've got missiles coming at you. And the Arrow can't really do much else. This is part of why nobody else except the RCAF wanted to buy it. And it was a great plane, particularly for a small country like Canada, but it wasn't an unbelievably great plane. The 50s were an exciting time for aircraft development. And while the Arrow was one of the world's fastest, the Brits, the Americans, the French, and the Swedes all had planes that kicked its butt in range, maximum altitude, and often cost. This is the US-made Delta Dart. It's a little bit slower than the Arrow and only has one engine to the Arrow's two, but it was about one quarter the price and was already flying when the Arrow was still on the drawing board. Arguments lamenting the 1959 cancellation of the plane usually fixate on the fact that, sure, the Arrow may have been flawed, but Canada should have continued funding the program anyway in order to maintain our domestic aviation industry. Sound familiar? 